Hello and happy, beautiful day to you. Today, I want to share with you a key insight on getting healing results or creating radical changes in your life that may seem very simple and it is so commonly overlooked. And what it has to do with is really getting specific with your mind programming at a deeper level. You know, a lot of times people may not gain the level of clarity that's needed to get the results that they want. And a simple example is this, is that when it comes to healing, all of the time I share with people that there are key components, like there are five factors that are specific to getting healing results. And what I've been able to do over the years is use these five factors and help people to create a radical shift in their own minds to create the healing result. And it's incredible what I see people do when they make these changes. Now, one of those factors is what I call positive expectation and optimism. Okay, so if we just look at positive expectation and optimism for a moment, a lot of times people might say something like this. They might say, well, I'm already optimistic. Now, if we add some depth to this awareness, let's say, for example, there's a woman who's optimistic about finding a love relationship or optimistic about something in her life. And then let's say that there's also a part of her that expects that it's not going to work out. For example, maybe she says that she's optimistic about finding a new love in her life, yet she expects that most men aren't going to be emotionally available, or she expects that relationships don't last forever, or she expects that there's going to be something wrong with them. And in this case, if you think about it, the emotional pattern of optimism, you know, that emotional feeling of optimism is there. And yet the expectation is incongruent. So it doesn't align. Or people may say that they expect something good to happen and they feel a sense of optimism, but then there's also a part of them that expects that it's too good to be true or expects that it's not going to work out. And so when you think about it for a moment in this simple example with positive expectation and optimism, a lot of times optimism, people can be hopeful and optimistic on one hand, but then expect that things won't work out or expect that something negative is going to happen or expect that it won't work and it's incongruent. And all of the time, by the way, even when I say positive expectation and optimism, a lot of times if people have been on the self-help or healing journey for a long period of time, They'll immediately tell themselves, oh, I already know that I'm already optimistic. And yet there are subtle subconscious feelings of a negative expectation, but it won't work because of this or that. And so we can see just in this simple example that there's depth and there's a level of awareness. Now, another thing that I'll see all the time is this, is that people may think about a specific emotion and they may not see it for what it is. There's just a lot of misconceptions. And another simple example that I see all the time is this, is that if we think about the term sensitive for a moment, like a sensitive awareness is somebody who's acutely aware. And so if we look at the definition sensitive, it's noticing the subtle awarenesses, you know, and so sensitive to things or sensitive to other people's emotions to be able to appreciate and have clarity on other people's emotions. Now, a lot of times what can happen in our culture is somebody will be easily wounded and then they say, oh, well, they have a feeling they're just sensitive. And technically speaking, that's not the feeling of sensitive. That's more of a feeling of maybe wounded. And the reason this is important is this is that all of the time I'll work with people who maybe do have wounding and they'll have some type of emotional wounding. And of course I have so much compassion, you know, I've been there in hurt and injury and fear and all of that, you know, going through my injury, I, I had a lot of fears and all kinds of emotions going on. And so I've been in those places. And though what happens is this, is that if we tell ourselves, if we tell our mind that it's good to be sensitive, and then we think that being sensitive is feelings of being reactive or easily hurt. 
then the mind won't want to let them go. And I see that happening all the time. And to give even more clarity, a simple example is this, is I've worked with people who did, they felt very emotionally reactive. And what had happened is that simultaneously they've been, you know, studying mind body healing or studying spirituality and they've programmed their mind that being sensitive is a very good thing and so what's happened is essentially their wounding of hurts and wounds and whatnot throughout the years they've gotten so where they're more emotionally reactive which has then unfortunately affected their health their life because it's it's like programming your mind that it's good to be more wounded, to be more reactive, to be more hurt. And I know this seems counterintuitive, but this is what can happen at a subconscious level. And it's something that I'm seeing happen more and more and more, you know, all of the time. And, and again, it, it is completely counterintuitive. So I understand that. And a simple example that I always use when it comes to emotional patterns feeling counterintuitive is that if we look at the unfortunate example of maybe a cutter, you know, somebody who cuts themselves and experiences a feeling of relief or euphoria or control or safety from cutting themselves. Now, I know this doesn't make logical sense, but it gets linked up all of the time. And so if we think about it for a moment, if even that can get linked up at a subconscious level that, you know, somebody cutting themselves can feel relief or euphoria or safety or control, when we really stop to think about that, awareness we can see how much our minds can get miswired and so what's been happening and i'm seeing more and more of is more and more people hear that hey being sensitive is good that it's good to be sensitive and then it creates a reactiveness like their mind is wanting to hold on to wounds now don't get me wrong sensitive is a superpower when taken in the proper context. I mean, if you think about it for a moment, I work with people all of the time and that's exactly how I work with them is I check into their energy. I feel what they're feeling and I'm aware of what they're feeling and I help them to create a radical shift. So I am sensitive to what other people are feeling. You know, I use my intuition or uh, whatever you want to call it. You could call it mere touch synesthesia or intuition or channeling information, whatever you want to call it. But feeling what other people feel is a huge part of how I've been able to understand emotions at such an, an incredible awareness. And also the reason I've been able to take people and show them even how to get results and release pain in minutes, even under medical equipment. And so my point is, Sensitive is a good thing, but we need to make sure that we have it in the right context. That sensitive means being acutely aware of subtle changes, acutely aware of others, or even in our own energy, acutely aware of emotions. That's a good thing, but not extremely reactive or extremely hurt by emotions. That's different. But when we are sensitive in a positive way, we can check in to our subconscious minds more easily. You know, when I started talking about uh, this episode, you know, when I first started sharing on this specific uh, episode here, you know, I talked about the significance between somebody just feeling optimist and also their expectation and those subtle expectations that are there. And the point being is that when we are sensitive to that awareness of what we are feeling. We can check into those expectations and transform them. And so sensitive, again, sensitive is a great thing. However, making sure that we're using it for our best and highest good, because if we're sensitive in a way that's reactive and, and that's the definition of it, we're reactive, we're easily hurt, we're easily wounded, that goes the other direction that makes it so it's you know more pain more negativity more hurt and that can lead to illness or you know a lot of negative patterns and stress in our lives so that's today's quick iq episode is i want to invite you to look at the subtle awarenesses and to be clear on those because a lot of times you know when it comes to mind body healing people overlook the key to getting results and the more that we get tuned into the subtle awarenesses and really master emotions instead of you know clumping them all together but we really look at the specifics and we work towards those that is 
that has been the key. And the analogy that I use all the time is this, is that, you know, if you think about somebody who's really great at playing music, there is a big difference to them between a G sharp and a G flat. You know, those are two very different music tones. And so to me, when I'm working with the mind or emotions, these subtle differences that may seem subtle to some people are the key to getting radical results for me, you know, is that that's the way that I've been able to get real results is really tuning in to the difference and the specifics and getting clear on those and then creating a radical change. So that is key. So that's the insight that I wanted to share with you today. And just an insight, a takeaway that you can use from today's episode is this, is that you could really get clear and make sure your expectations and your optimism are fully aligned because that can help you align with where you're wanting to go, you know, to reprogram your mind so you feel that you're optimistic about something and you have a genuine expectation for the positive. So that said, that is today's quick insight and I wish you a most wonderful, incredible rest of your day. And before we go, I do want to just say, please do take just a quick moment to hit the share button on this episode. You know, share it with somebody you love, somebody you care about, or somebody you don't even know, because the more empowered that every single individual is, you know, just every single person feeling empowered, the better this world is for all of us. And so please do make a point to hit the share button and please do make a point to have a most wonderful, incredible rest of your day.